Powerhouse followers. Today we are doing a DIY wreath. So I have a nice base here. So this is our flaring grapevine wreath. Um, for me, you can really use this one year round um, if you're not gluing to it. So you can use this for fall, Christmas. Um, you can use any type of spray or stem. Um, I'm kind of using a variety of lengths today to kind of show you how you can do one up. So I am kind of going for that summer boho feel that we've been seeing everywhere. Very whimsical. Also really great for some weddings. First things I have here is I have some plumes. So I got some of that fun pink plumes um, that kind of almost are feathery. I have some calla lilies. Always love a good calla lily. And then I have some pompous grass. Now these are really long stems. Um, I believe they're about 42 inch. So we're going to show you how to work those all in to this wreath here. So I am going to go ahead and start with this um, plume first. I am going to pick a corner I like. So I think I'm going to kind of work over here because this kind of has a little sparse spot. So I can cover it up with my foliage. So I'm just going to shove this in all the way to where the floral starts. And I'm going to do the same with another one on the other side and right in there. Now I'm going to flip this around so you can see what I'm doing on the back side here. So see how those are sticking out? Just to secure them, I'm just going to bend them and push them right into that grapevine wreath. Now, if you don't feel like that is secure enough, you can take some floral tape or floral wire and I just take the wire or tape through one of the grapevines and tie down the stem. But that should secure you very well. And then from here, I just go ahead and kind of spread these out. So they do have some wire in there so I can really get a bold wreath here. Okay. Now I'm going to come in with the pompous grass. So with this, it is easiest, I find, to go ahead and mold your stem into the shape of into the shape of the wreath. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side, grab our other one, go ahead and get that nice and molded. So any really long stems, I recommend kind of pre-molding it a little bit. You'll have to fiddle with it at the end, but it just kind of helps you. Okay, so I am going to find a similar spot here and get that stem through. I'm just going to keep pushing. All right. And then I'm going to come in from the other side with my other pompous grass. And again, I'm just kind of finding a hole in that grapevine wreath, pushing my stem through all the way to where that floral starts. I'm gonna flip this around so you guys can see what I'm doing on that back side. So with these, because the stems are so long, I do like to kind of find a couple spots I can go in and out with my stems. And then I kind of just tuck them in at the end. Doing this is just securing it on the back side along with also hiding it. So you're not going to be seeing it from the front. Okay. Shove that through. So 
I got those nice and secure. So as you can tell, these kind of pop up. I do not like that. So this is the part where you kind of do some tucking in the front. I kind of find a good like either twig I can kind of lift up like this or one that I can tuck in and I take that top part and I just kind of tuck tuck the stem and then I just kind of fiddle for the rest now we're gonna come on to this we're gonna tuck him in as well um, Let's see, where's a good spot? I wanna tuck them right in there in that hole, but I can't quite get them in. Okay, and then I am gonna retuck this guy in there. Okay, so those are nice and settled. I'm gonna come in and I am gonna bring in some calla lilies now. Now I like to go ahead and push all of my calla lilies through before I tuck them in in the back. Cause I might need to adjust them just a little bit if I don't like how it looks. Again, I'm just kind of wiggling it through that grapevine. Breathe. Wiggle, wiggle. Sometimes you gotta help pull it from the backside. I'm gonna put one up here. Just wiggling it through a hole in that backside. If you're having a hard time finding a hole by doing it on the front side, kind of find your general spot and then you can flip it over and wiggle it through. Okay. I think I'm just gonna do the four calla lilies today. I like the way this looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. And as you can see, I got all my stems are coming through the grapevine somewhere. And now all I'm going to do is tuck them. Tuck them in. Making sure they're not popping out through the front side. Again, these stems have wire in them too. So if you can't find somewhere, you might be able to loop it around something. One of the grapevines and just kind of twist it. And that will also secure it. Oops, one more. I'm just gonna tuck him in right here. Again, you can tighten all these in with wire if you'd like, but this is pretty dang secure. Look, I'm shaking and nothing's budging. So we're gonna flip that right back over. Oh my goodness, I am in love with it. Okay, so from here, I could easily add a bow. Um, really, it just depends on what the occasion is. If it's a wedding, I think some raffia would look nice or weaving some lights through here. Um, you could also just add a really cute little welcome, wood welcome sign. Um, this could be glued in. It could be wired in. Um, you might be able to just like find a little spot to tuck it right into the project too. I've done that multiple times. Oh, right there. He's nice and tucked in. You can see the word and you're ready to go. You got a beautiful door piece. 
All right, you guys. Remember, DIY wreaths are so easy. They're interchangeable. I could change this all out in a week, or I could change it out for just the seasons. So thank you for joining us, and happy crafting. Thank you.